Hello everyone, welcome back to my Let's Replay channel. Once again, this is Andrew T. Camacha. This is actually my second take in trying to do this video because on the first one, I couldn't figure out how to move my troops. So, we're just gonna go straight in this time. Uh, this is a game I had when I was a kid. And I actually still have the CD to this day. So, this is one of the games that my dad loved uh, playing when he when uh, he first got just because he's a real World War II buff. He even loves playing World of Warships now. But, this game is a squad-based uh, tactical strategy simulation and uh, that it goes with Operation Market Garden where they parachute a lot, of pe a lot of people in and try to end the war before Christmas but it did not work out that way. So your job is to basically go in change the difficulty here to recruit be on the Allies side and try to secure bridges for the Allies. Now it goes through basically each map section on the way through and you go through each section before the day's over so it's not like once you beat a map you win the win the whole thing this is a long campaign so we're going ahead and begin and just to call it campaign gonna skip the intro all right so right now the first thing is a rail bridge we gotta try to take it and hold it and then uh, either force the germans to retreat or annihilate them so let's go ahead and do this continue and this is the, our infantry. It shows uh, what types of infantry the AB Bren airborne bread teams are like for the British Army light machine gun, rifles, and hand grenades. Then we have the light infantry. Uh, leader has a submachine gun, everyone else has a bolt action rifle. Uh, they're useless against tanks. And then I have a scout. Basically, submachine guns and grenades. Uh, they're used, basically in, in, used to go in and just scout the. Like it says, to scout the area. They're not meant for heavy combat. So let's get a couple more on there. Let's get a sniper. And then for support down here, uh, that's an anti-tank gun. I don't think we'll need it this time, but let's get a mortar and a Vickers maybe machine gun here, or medium machine gun. Okay, and let's go ahead and go to the planning stage. So... This is A.B. Bryn. Move these guys over here. Same thing. This is a starting area. You can't get in the shaded areas to start out. So let's move these guys forward as much as we can because we're going to try to get them to this wall as fast as possible. Here's a Vickers machine gun. Here's a sniper. Uh, let's move the sniper down a bit to here and then the mortars to here has some decent cover all right and then move these guys up and move these guys up all right so that's our planning stage as you can tell on the mini map here uh we have everyone as close as we can to the wall we're going to begin and move fast to here and then you guys are going to move fast to here same thing Ah, it scrolls way too fast. Move fast to here. Move fast to here. Mortars, you stay there. Move fast to here. Incoming! Oh, getting casualties already. Mortars, where are my mortars? Fire on them. You guys, move fast to here. And you guys, move fast. And you guys, fire on this guy. Man, these got a lot of freaking. Where's my sniper? Uh, Move fast to here. Oh. And then my sniper. Where's my sniper? Did he die already? There's my sniper. You sneak to here. And you guys. Uh, 
down. see the mortars. Let's go ahead and have them fire right around here. Let's see if we can't get them off the bridge here. Like I said, they were already set up behind. Ooh, good. The mortars got them a bit. Let's see if they can attack him now. There we go. Where's my sniper? There he is. He's slowly making his way over there. This looks like where most of the action's going on. And you can tell the graphics are very simplistic. You know, blue and red, and kind of like the the rebels versus the, <laughs> the empire in Star, in Star Wars. So you kind of know who's shooting where. Get me out! All right, so my troop status isn't doing too well here. They've uh, they've kicked my butt pretty hard. <laughs> Guys, let's move fast to here and see if we can flank them and have my sniper fire against. Oh, no, you can't see him. All right, so. Hopefully my sniper can take off and take out a couple of these guys. Move! Move fast there, and sometimes they just won't do it. And they're like, no. We're pinned down. Incoming! Bam! Fire on this guy. Nope, can't do that. Because they won't even get past there. These guys are apparently stuck on this side of the bridge. And it looks like they're retreating, so hopefully I can win this here pretty soon. It's like, what are y'all doing? Where are you going? Okay, the mortars seem to be doing pretty well. Where's my sniper? Sniper. Hey! We won! Germans were routed from the map. Bridge remains intact. Aaron will advance. Alright, so... <laughs> like I said, I, I had a overwhelming force against these guys, but they were already set up. So by the time I got my guys to the wall, I had lost half my troops. And, oh, golly. So, okay. Ceasefire period, four hours. There we are. Then continue. And then it goes on to the next sector. So, now, uh, first bridge is needed to secure us. Most difficult bridge taken hold. Is a defended vulnerable counterattack. So, basically, you'll go back and forth on this a lot, trying to hold this. Okay. Alright, so we're going to end it there. That gives you a little taste of uh, what the game was like. And there's a whole series of this. Like, there's Close Combat, Close Combat 2, which we're playing right now. There's, a, I think, three more after this. I got on GOG.com for, I believe, $44.99. Uh, I saved like fifty three ninety four on it because of the it had a sixty six percent off sale for the whole series. And if you're interested in games like this that are strategy, uh, they have the nostalgia in it of the old reels of World War Two, and uh, the combat is like I said, it's pretty tactical. Uh, it's not the most what's the word I'm looking for. It doesn't hold up perfectly, but it does hold up pretty well. So it's still a, just a fun game to go in, spend a couple minutes on, you know, save your campaign, and then just go to the next one. So right now we're going to go back, cancel. Uh, yes, let's end the current game, quit. And thank you all so much for watching. Once again, this is Andrew T coming at you. What a great day for a replay. Y'all have a good one.